Hello and welcome to Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam, which is probably the most expensive airport I've ever visited. But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. We're here for a flight review. Hello and welcome to Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam, where today I'm going to be doing a flight review on a KLM flight from Amsterdam to JFK. And once again, in economy, the cheapest seat I could find. But I did pay a little bit extra once again and went for the extra leg room and booked the emergency exit. So uh, it looks like it's going to be a full flight once again. So join me as we travel from Amsterdam all the way to JFK on this flight that leaves at 5.15 p.m. tonight. Enjoy. Just gone for the pre-security bit to get on the plane and we're in zone three because we booked the emergency seats, which means you usually get to board a little bit quicker than most of the others, which is good. We put our luggage up quickly. Hello. Hello. 30 A and B. Yes. Thank you. My immediate first impression of the interior is, wow, this is probably the nicest interior I've actually come across uh, on an aircraft before. Uh, the dark blue, the lighter blue, and the black put together with the light ceiling really, really does stand out and looks super clean. There we go. Nearly all new aircraft right now have this ultra sleek style looking seat uh, in place of the bigger bulky ones you used to see. Get more passengers in I guess that way, but don't be fooled, these seats were really, really comfortable. Uh, flight time is short, only uh, 7 hours. So uh, the good news is that uh, although we have some, uh, maybe might have some delay for departure, I still expect to be well on time and natural at the gate in uh, New York. As you can see outside, there's some uh, rain in the vicinity, so we might keep on the fast people side and a bit the low one during the climb. Okay, plane was loaded, doors were shut, and now we're on our way on a rather long taxiway uh, to our departure runway. All right, we just uh, took about 15 minutes to make our way over to the, uh, the departure. Oh, I know, right, the 15 minute door to detour and the 15 minute ride through the countryside over there. <laughs> so we've come a long way around. Oh, it's quite a bit of a line up behind us. Yeah. And DHL. Yeah. It's an old Airbus, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Sometime they even have the MD 11. For a little bit of fun, how long do you think it will take for this aircraft to take off from the initial roll to the rotation? Uh, so stop the video right now and put your comments below of how long do you think it will take. If you said 39 seconds or even 40 seconds, give yourselves a big pat on the back and well done for guessing that or estimating that. Anyway, um, not a bad takeoff over Amsterdam. Sadly, it was very poor visibility. As you can tell, it was raining. Uh, once we got to literally a thousand feet, we kind of lost the ground very, very quickly. And then we're in the clouds. And uh, yeah, not much to see until we're above them. All right, welcome to uh, the flight review of uh, KLM flight 643 from uh, Schiphol, Amsterdam, going all the way to JFK, New York, United States of America. We're on a brand new, well, I'd say fairly new, brand new Boeing 787-1000 uh, series. Uh, registration, Papa Hotel, Rava Kilo Hotel. And uh, yeah, and uh, so far, so smooth. It's a beautiful aircraft. I've uh, been on the Dreamliner before. Um, one that's like four or five years old with Air Canada, I think it was a 787-800, but this is the uh, 1000 series and it is quiet, it's smooth, super clean, and most importantly, the staff are amazing so far on KLM, really, really enjoying it. So anyway, um, when we taxied out 
of Schiphol. Uh, the flight crew in front of me was just telling us we actually went the longest way around. And it actually took us 15 minutes to get from the gate to the departure area. So uh, kind of like a scenic route through the countryside. And then it was a very powerful takeoff, and very smooth. And up we go. Uh, captain's notified us it's a pretty quick flight to uh, JFK today, seven hours. So we're going to sit back, relax, enjoy the flight, and uh, I'll show you some of this stuff as the flight goes on. Enjoy. Right, while we're waiting for the uh, seatbelt sign to be turned off, uh, we've got the same seats as we had on the uh, Delta flight uh, from Detroit to Char uh, Paris Charles de Gaulle where we paid a little bit extra to get the extra leg room. And I think it's so worth it when you're on a longer flight if you can get it. Uh, usually, if you book your seats in advance, you're gonna be paying $40, $50 in advance to get a seat. Well, I think we paid 110 with Delta, and I think this one was 95 with KLM, US dollars. And you know what, for seven hours, $95 to stretch my feet out, I think is worth the money, especially considering how much money I saved on this flight in the first place. So we're right at the emergency exit, uh, L3, I believe they call this, at this end. And as you can tell, this is my feet, and the jump seat's there, the door's there, and we have a lot of room, a lot of room. Now the only downside of sitting in the emergency exit is the seats are just a little bit narrower because they've got to put the entertainment system inside the seat. So apart from that, if you want leg room and be able to lean back, these are good seats. If you're a bit of a wide-bodied person, you won't want these seats because they're going to be very uncomfortable because they are narrow, so keep that in mind. As it's an evening flight to JFK, we left at, uh, we just took off around about 5.30 from uh, uh, Amsterdam. So basically we're gonna be chasing the sun all the way to New York and landing just after the sun has set. So might get some nice colors out here. As I was saying earlier, the emergency exit seats are slightly uh, narrower than the regular economy seats, and this is because the entertainment system is stored in the side of them. At the bottom is just located here. You just press it, pull the arm, and the uh, screen comes out. It's a nice size screen. 11 inch. 11 inch. How would you? Okay, no comment. It looks like some mozzarella balls, a nice warm bread roll, and the meatballs are in there. And I'll let you know how it goes very shortly. Thank you very much, and excellent service. Very polite. It looks like we got some uh, bamboo cutlery, which is good. A butter for my roll. I'm going to start with the salad with a spoon. Yes. Dessert's been served. 
excited. the uh, coast of Canada, uh, Labrador of all places. Um, two hours and 20 minutes to go I believe. Anyway, it's been a good flight, enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sure we got a little snack coming very shortly, but I tell you what, this seat, loving it. Loving it. I like room I got. So basically, oh my god, I'm tired. The up is wrong. Completely sprawled out. Enjoying the view, relaxed, lying back, and being comfy. Perfect, isn't it? Like we're totally worth the extra hundred bucks to park your backside here. Uh, like I say, it's a little squishy for your elbows, but to lie back, feet right out, it's worth it. Anyway, this, look at that review. Look at all that. Yep, so there we have it. That is the flight to New York JFK. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's got a touch down and get off the aircraft. And uh, overall, a very, very good ride. Very good service from KLM. Really, really enjoyed it. Looking back on this flight, I can now safely say that KLM is now my new favourite airline. Having spent many years flying Delta Airlines, British Airways, Air Transat and Air Canada over to uh, Europe over the last 20 years, uh, KLM, first time flying with them, flawless. I could not fault them in any way. Uh, the crew were fantastic, super friendly. Uh, the aircraft was amazing, a great, great new fleet, a modern fleet of course. Uh, the interior of the aircraft was really, really nice, very appealing to my eyes anyway. I really, really enjoyed the overall experience with KLM and I look forward very much to traveling with them again in the very near future. Uh, big thumbs up to KLM, thank you. <laughs>